Anki can do a number of different card types. So the common one that people think of with flash cards is called the basic card in Anki. So it has a front and a back. Uh, there are also another couple of styles of cards called a closed deletion or an image occlusion, which we'll cover off today because they're quite popular card types, particularly within uh, medicine-related flash card decks. And so you're likely to come across them. Uh, and we'll spend a couple of clips going over how you would make each type. I just want you to be aware of what they are for this clip. So your basic card type is going to have a question on the front and an answer on the back. You can also get a reverse version of this, which will present you with the answer uh, and then the question. And that can be useful for glossary style um, questions where you are wanting to be able to be presented both with the term and then the definition or to be presented with the definition and then the term to see whether or not you can identify one from the other. The second type of uh, card is called a closed deletion. And instead of having a front and back, that has a complete the sentence style question. So when I click to see the answer, this is going to fill in this blank. That's really common in topics such as pharmacology, where you're wanting to look at, say, the class of a particular drug. The third type of card that we'll cover here is called an image occlusion. And that presents you with an image with the labels missing and asks you to fill in each of them. So if I click to see the answer, it'll then present an image with the labels filled in. Now that's called a complete image occlusion card because all of, it asks for all of the labels and then presented me with all of the answers. You can also get a version of that which actually asks you only for a particular label, so what's shown at one in this instance. And then when you click through to the answer, it's just going to give you the answer for point one. That can be really useful for focusing on items that you're not so great at remembering, because what it will do is for the items that you're doing quite well at, it's going to push them way into the future. So you're not likely to see those cards very frequently. Instead, what you'll see is the cards you're having trouble remembering.